Mark, what I got in the mail today? My new speakers. Just little ones. Going in the factory locations. Already got the door panel off on this side. Window crank uh, comes off as well. I was just playing with the crank, seeing if I could grease up the tracks at all. Uh, let's see here. Red light. Got the rears installed. I'm not going to put the aftermarket screens on it. I'm just going to hide them all behind the behind the stock uh, liner there. There's the factory speakers. Just cheap paper. There's one without its screen cover, and there's the other two. Straightforward, pretty simple. Unplug the old ones, put the new ones in. Nothing too fancy. Got these off of eBay, pretty cheap. Did the uh, rears before going into work. It's after work now, did 10 hours. and It's, uh, according to the watch, about five after two in the morning. This would be Wednesday today. I look at the shot of the gauges. I still love those. Alrighty, there's the factory wiring. We're just gonna plug into those. Cut the uh, plug off and splice into the splice into the factory stuff. And let's see, I had one open earlier. Now the box is gonna kick my butt. I think it's taped. Maybe it is. Oh. Well, voila. All the fancy instructions and whatnot. Don't put a recycle bin. Trying to get these in tonight to make sure they work. So I can put the uh, cardboard in the recycle bin. Garbage goes out in the morning. There's the speakers wrapped up. Put the other one on the passenger seat. Hopefully we can get the door open enough. I'm a little close to the other side there. Get the rest of the stuff on. I'm going to have to put this down. This way. mounting screws and some little clips. I haven't been using those, but we'll pop those into the uh, into the spare fashion again. Alrighty, I'm not gonna bore you with the installation process. Pretty straightforward. I'll cut off the uh, factory clip there and just splice in with a couple of buck connectors the, the new wires and then uh, plug them into the factory into the uh, new speakers and put it all back together. Piece of cake. I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, there it is. All installed. Actually, I did the passenger side, but I just put the panel back on. wasn't thinking. So that one's all... If I can get the thing to show right. It's all put back together. Can't even tell. When I uh, get this panel put on, take me a couple of minutes, I'll just uh, we'll do a quick sound check on it. I've already played it. it sounds pretty good, but I'll show you all what it sounds like. So I'll be back in a, well, for you it'll be very shortly. For me it'll be about 5-10 minutes. Talk to you in a few. Alright, rear hatch is all put back together. There's all the old junk. Clean it up in a bit. 
that. Turn this in to get around. Door panels put back on. Other door panels put back on. Let's uh, do a little sound check. Close the door. They're all working. That sounds pretty good, actually. I know we're not supposed to blur tunes on YouTube, but, uh, yeah, that's just a Alpine head unit and set of Alpine speakers with the factory wiring on my 91 Cherokee. Not too bad. Cool. Alrighty. Once again, I love those gauges. Those really came out good. If I can get them to show up without all the glare. Oh, hey, let's do this. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, hey, let me show you this too while we're at it. Get the light turned back on so we can see it all. If I can find a good spot to hang it, probably not anyway. This is a neutral. Do a quick fire up here. Watch the oil pressure gauge up on the top there. I wish I could get a spot for this to sit so you can see it. There you go. Yeah, it works. Change the sending unit. Everything else seems to be working as well. I haven't checked the speedometer and the temperature gauge yet, but the tack works. Good stuff. I need to pull the plugs on this thing. It doesn't idle real smooth. But anyway, that's this weekend's job. I gotta go to bed, it's after three in the morning now. I'm tired, bye-bye.